talk a little bit about all-wheel drive. So when we introduced all-wheel drive, we actually introduced an all-new generation all-wheel drive in the CX-5. And what's changed is actually how the car understands its environment. It actually has the ability now to kind of predict what's happening around it and react before anything really happens. Um, but before I actually go into the logic, let me kind of talk about the specifications. So up front, we're still utilizing a, a PTO, which um, sends the energy through the propeller shaft to a magnetically hydraulically controlled uh, clutch pad, and it distributes the torque to the rear. For the CX-3, it's a little bit smaller. It's actually about 20% lighter than what's in the CX-5. And then what we're also doing is we're now using a lot more information that are from the sensors that are originally in the car. So this set of sensors was what we were using in the past. And we've added these sensors to that sensor set. So we're now using steering torque, power steering motor current, steering angle, front wheel wiper motor, outside temperature, vehicle longitudinal G, and brake fluid pressure. Okay, so this is a, kind of the logic of how the system works. And uh, actually what I'd like to do is kind of actually walk you through how the system works. So when you guys are walking, right, you can kind of feel how much friction you have underneath your feet. You can hear it as I walk right now, right? Now, if I walk up to something slippery, right, I can detect a little bit of slip, right? I stop, I stabilize, or as I keep going, I react to it, and I can keep going, right? So our car has that ability and that dynamic condition. In a static condition, right, let's say you're standing on ice, right? Now you know the view underneath you or the friction underneath you has changed. You know that it's slippery. How do you know that? Because your legs, right, they're twitching a little bit. There's a little bit of tension. Right? And now you know, okay, well, how do I need to know how to move? So I'm going to maybe load up one foot, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to stabilize, and then I'm going to gently sit down and move, right? So you've already predicted how do I need to move in this situation. So our car has the ability to do that. So now let's kind of talk about it in terms of the car. So it, at, um, let's say you're on a dry road, it's sunny outside, the car knows that because of the temperatures, it knows that it's got <clears throat> Good grip because the wheel speeds are uh, the same, the sensors are telling it that. It knows now that maybe you're going into a corner because the steering wheel angle is telling it that. It knows what type of throttle, what your intention is as you're going into the corner because of the RPM range. Now, <clears throat> as you're going into the corner, again in a dry situation, the car is already um, uh, switching torque because it's trying to understand which direction you're trying to go and it wants to use the most efficient means of getting to that corner and add grip. Now, if there happens to be water running through there, now the situation changes, right? So what it happens there is as the car goes to the corner, the car knows how much input you're putting in, if you're stabilizing the steering wheel, or if you're adding more. But as you go into the corner, the understands there's a certain amount of friction as you enter the corner. As it hits the water, the power steering motor is putting on a certain amount of current to hold the steering. Now, if there's any minute uh, minutia of slip going on, that current will change because it's trying to hold the wheels in the position that you're putting in there. So right then and there, the car is detected that there's a possibility of slip. So at that moment, it's already thinking, do I need to put some power to the rear so that the front will not slip, so I can maintain grip to the corner? So it's predicted that. Now, in the worst case scenario, let's say you're on snow now, right? So you're at a mountain resort, you're going up to the ski lifts, and it always so happens there's always some type of hill that you gotta go up and stop on. Okay, worst case scenario. So the car probably already already knows that it's slippery outside because you're on snow, wheel speeds are changing, it knows you're on a hill, you've got the brakes on, um, it knows that you've turned the wheel, because again, similar to the situation here, right then and there it knows, okay, the car's not moving, but how much torque do I need to put to the rear? Well, it could be wet outside, it could be snowing, it also knows that because of the windshield wipers. So it's taking in all these sensors to understand how much torque do I need to put to the rear so I can pull away nice and smoothly. So what I'd like to, uh, to do now is actually show you a video, maybe kind of make sense of what I'm trying to talk to you about here. And of course, you're more than welcome to talk to me afterwards.